Hey loves, in today's video, I am reviewing the B Color Mini Gel Lamp from Dollar Tree while I show you how I created this gorgeous red and nude set. I purchased the B Color Mini Gel Lamp from Dollar Tree for $1.25. It is battery operated. I also purchased these batteries from Dollar Tree as well. The back of the box offers some instructions on how to apply and cure your gel polish, as well as how to install the batteries into the lamp. On my thumb, index, and pinky nails, I am applying the Ameli Gel Polish in the shade 64. I will apply two coats, curing each for 30 seconds. Now I am applying a thin layer of the Ameli No Wipe Top Coat and curing for an additional 30 seconds. On my two remaining nails, I am applying three coats of the Mamita Nu3 Gel Polish, curing each coat for 30 seconds. I am creating this super easy rose and butterfly nail design using water decals from the Frankie store on Amazon. To adhere my stones and caviar beads, I am using the Ameli Builder Base. The caviar beads I am using are from Hyson Lee on Amazon. I am using those in conjunction with red and clear rhinestones that I purchased from my local beauty supply store. Since the Builder Gel is so thick, the mini gel lamp would not cure it, so I ended up curing in my big lamp for 60 seconds. To seal in my design, I am applying a thin layer of top coat and curing in the mini lamp for 30 seconds. For my crystal design, I am applying a layer of builder gel. I want to experiment with more intricate charm designs. So this design I jotted down in my notebook and I think it transferred to the nail extremely well. I am very happy with how it came out. I also want to incorporate caviar beads into more of my designs as well. Again, I had to cure this nail for 60 seconds. Now I'm applying a layer of top coat to seal in my design and I'm going to cure in the small lamp for 30 seconds. My nails are done. Now I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the B Color Mini Gel Lamp. For $1.25 plus the $1.25 for the batteries, it's a pretty good deal for gel polish beginners. It is good at curing thinner gel polish formulas as well as base and top coats. I would not recommend it for builder gel, rhinestone glue, or gel polishes that have a thicker consistency. And here is my finished nail design. I love the red and nude color combination. It is so, so cute. Check the description for all of the products that I used to create this set. Leave me a comment below telling me what you think of today's video. And until next time, bye loves! And I'll take you there, I'll take you there, like it was the first time, do you remember?